Just days after losing her son tonight, a mother shares her pain. Thank you for joining us. I'm Cynthia Isaguirre. I'm John McKay. That baby lost his life after being suffocated in his own car seat in the care of a babysitter. News 8's Lauren Zakalik live tonight with more on what his mother wants done now. Lauren? Well, Megan Norris says that she works late hours in the food industry, so it was hard to find traditional daycare for her baby son, John. Instead, she found a babysitter who she says she felt she vetted properly, but she is now urging parents to do even more after learning about the circumstances surrounding her son's death. Less than 48 hours after the death of her infant. He just started crawling on Sunday. Weatherford mom Megan Norris mustered the strength to open up about her baby boy, John. And he was nine months old yesterday. It was a milestone he never made. Police say John died Monday while under the care of his babysitter in this West Fort Worth home. He was discovered, police say, inside a walk-in closet. He'd been sleeping in a car seat but wasn't strapped in properly and suffocated. I had no idea what was really going on or I never would have left him there. Norris says she found the babysitter after posting an ad on Facebook and had been using her for months. She and her mother and attorney say they interviewed the babysitter and visited her home before placing him there. Norris was under the impression she babysat just John and one other child, but police discovered a different scene Monday night. The caretaker at the time was watching approximately 10 to 11 children at the time of this incident. CPS confirms the caretaker is not a licensed daycare operator. They also say the household has been investigated in the past. We've also learned today CPS is now, quote, assessing the safety of the children who live in the caregiver's home. Norris says she was cautious when selecting a babysitter, but urges parents to do even more. No question should be too intrusive. They should give you full access to their home. They should be willing to provide you whatever criminal and CPS background checks you want and you should want them. She doesn't want anyone else to lose a child the way she lost her John. Police say there is no update in their investigation yet. We are not naming the babysitter at this point because no charges have been filed in this case. We're live in Weatherford, Lawrence Akalik, Channel 8 News. All right, Lauren. Now